Hello everybody, welcome to this video. I'm Funny Cheese and today we're going to be talking about the genre known as Kraut Rock. What genre Kraut Rock fits under to is very widely debated. Many people say it's progressive rock, most likely in the Prague archives, but other people say it comes from avant-garde. I say it's just another rock genre, but today we're going to actually figure this out. The name Kraut Rock comes from the uh, term British people used to call um, German people, Krauts. I believe this um, from around World War II, I will um, already have like a little message pop up just to clarify I am correct, but that was um, a slang used towards uh, German people back then by the British. That kind of just um, sums everything up. Another um, dish that is sauerkraut that you may have and you may really enjoy also shares the name Kraut with it. Okay, time for a change of scenery. I've just came to Germany so we can actually talk about Kraut Rock. Kraut Rock was a primarily Western German genre, but some Eastern Kraut Rock bands exist. The most famous Kraut Rock band is Can. Can is also regarded as one of the most famous progressive rock bands. Can made a series of albums in the early 70s with their singer, Dama Suzuki. The first ever album they did being Monster Movie was with American singer, Malcolm Moody. The other albums from the early 70s include soundtracks from 1970, with Malcolm Moody and Dama Suzuki doing vocals, Kagamago from 1971, which included Dama Suzuki on vocals, Ig. Babayasi, I think that's how you pronounce it, from 1972, also with Thomas on vocals, and their final album, Future Days, from 1973. Future Days is a very odd album from the others, is that this one uses synthesizers. This this album uses synthesizers their keyboardist, Erwin Schmidt, made himself. This also features one of their longer tracks, Bel Air at 19 minutes. Another famous Kraut uh, Rock group was known as Faust. Faust only made four albums in the 1970s, those being 1971's Faust, 1972's Faust So Far, 1973's The Faust Tapes, and, and also 1973's Faust 4. Another one of the more popular bands was known as Niu. Niu was also similar to Faust by only having th three 70s albums being Niu, Niu 2, and Niu 75, that being their live album. A few other bands I could mention that weren't always Kraut Rock were these. Kraftwerk, known, which is known as a very, very influential band, had first started out as Kraut Rock, but later on in the late 70s and early 80s became more of an electronic band. Tangerine Dream, another famous band, being a uh, ele progressive electronic band, was also pretty influential. Also started out as a kraut rock band, by, but by the mid-70s, they had turned fully electronic. And not a band that turned into a, an electronic band was Eloy, or Eloy, who started out as kraut rock, but slowly became more space rock. Arguably one of the more boring space rock bands. Now I did mention um, East Germany Kraut Rock bands, and um, there is an album that released in 2013, which supposedly had been a um, collections of recordings from the secret cosmic music of the East German Olympic program from 1972 to 83. Um, these were electronic albums in a Kraut Rock style. So, I'm going to have a hard time pronouncing this name. That's the reason I uh, put this off. Apparently, Mark Martin is a niche allegedly was on this album. And Drew McBadgen was probably on this album. So nobody knows who made this album. Pretty much. It's called Cosmischer Laufer. Um, 
there's two different albums, and these were these were apparently from the 70s. These were all released from 2013 up to 2023. I think this is just like an, an, an ARG or something. I just thought it would be pretty interesting to mention these were all apparently about these. So, I th yeah, I, I'm pretty sure this is just an ARG. I don't know why I even included this. If you stuck around to this part of the video, which you probably did, I want to thank you for watching this. I am ver not very experienced on these type of videos. This was just a bit of a test. This might get remade in the future when I have more um, hindsight or like more um, knowing on crowd work and more editing skills. I plan to touch on um, some more obscure prog bands in my next video, some of them I actually know a bit more about, and I hope you will like that one better than this one. Even if you think it's terrible when you write a comment, I really don't care. I'll probably side with you. But thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.